can I cut this 4x6 with a circ saw powered by a 12 volt battery? Let's see. Obviously not all the way through, but with it set at its farthest depth, it cut through it fine. So, let's follow, that's a 15 amp uh, saw by the way. Follow this cord, round and round she goes, uh, and then up and round and round and round, way too long a cord for the job that I was doing. There it is, there it is, there it is, oh uh, yes. Following, following, following. Uh, so you can see it the whole way. It goes up right there. And it goes into that new hickey. Okay. That hooked up to a battery in this vehicle. We'll saw that. Now, the question is, should it saw that? That's what we're going to be talking about today with this uh, inverter. Now what I'm showing here is there's a battery there. I've got a meter in front of it showing 13.28 volts. This is a car starting battery for a truck. And it's fully charged. 13.28 means it's pretty much top uh, charged up as much as it's going to charge. So this has got all the power in it that I can use. And what I'm trying to demonstrate here is how much power this thing can actually put out. Now, I have a load uh, set up for this thing, but that load is one kilowatt. That means it would use one kilowatt every hour. The equivalent appliances for one kilowatt would be a gas furnace, say a medium-sized gas furnace, uh, and a refrigerator. If both of these were on at the same time, you would use about a kilowatt. So let's see how long this battery can operate just those two loads. Uh, the battery is charged up. It's about 13 and 13.2 uh, Now 13.3 volts, which is about fully charged We're going to discharge this battery using a 1 kilowatt load Okay, and we're going to see how long this battery can actually power a 1 kilowatt load Now what I'm using here is a kilowatt which is going to record the amperage draw, the kilowatts, and the time. Now it's blank right now because we've got it shut off. Okay, it's already showing a fairly low voltage. The voltage is 109 because it's, the load is on. So we're going to watch this thing. And uh, you don't have to watch it. I'm the only one who has to watch it. And pretty quick, this thing is going to start beeping because the voltage in the battery is dropping. And it'll beep off and on for quite a while, and then when it finally goes beep and just stays on, it shuts down. So it shuts down before the battery gets really low. But it's not gonna be too long until this thing shuts down. Okay, you can hear it now. We're about three minutes in, according to the kilowatt. The battery voltage has dropped down. It has not shut off the uh, inverter yet. It'll still operate. Uh, we still have voltage in the uh, uh, battery that's fairly good, 11.52. Okay, you hear that? We're down below 12 volts now, so uh, it's not happy. Now I'm gonna shut it off. Pull the 
load off of it, get this thing back on again without any load so we can see the kilowatt. Okay, let's look at what we got. So, uh, up to 118 volts. If you noticed under load, it was down to a 109 or something, which is, eh, boy, I don't know. A lot of loads are not going to run on that. So, okay. Right now, we're sitting there at 118 volts. Uh, or, yeah, 118 volts. And, uh, let's go past this, past this. Now, that's kilowatts. We got 0.15 kilowatts. That's not a whole lot of power. It only ran for, well, let's see here, 10 minutes. Okay. I don't know if you can see what the problem is now. Let's go ahead and discuss what we found out. So, what did this tell us? It tells us we're not going to run hardly anything off this thing that has a load on it. Remember, if you start your furnace up, it's going to run three to 500 watts. If you start a refrigerator up, it's going to probably run about 600 watts, maybe seven, maybe five, depending on the size and so on. And here's another thing you've got to take into account when you're calculating this kind of stuff. If you have a power outage, we're saying we're going to use this, you know, when the, the power goes out. You come home from work, power's out, been out for three or four hours. You get inside the house. The house is cold. The refrigerator's not running. It's starting to warm up. The house is starting to cool off. Normally, a furnace will run, you know, an outside temperature, say 35, 40 degrees, ballpark numbers here. It'll run maybe 7 to 10 minutes, and then it'll be off about the same amount of time. A refrigerator run, most of the time, a refrigerator runs about half the time. Sometimes it'll run a quarter of the time, but most of the time it'll run about half the time. So, your refrigerator's warm, your house is cold you're not going to cycle. It's not going to cycle off. It's going to just run into the furnace especially. It's just going to sit there and run. The refrigerator is going to sit there and run. Now you've got two loads that are one kilowatt added together. They are one kilowatt and you are going to run it off the battery of your vehicle for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. That's all you're going to get out of this thing. So, I, I've seen guys say, uh, uh, oh, you just go out every once in a while, start the car up, and it'll charge the battery up, run it for 10 minutes or something, shut it off. Okay, and you're good for another whatever, who knows. Well, you're not going to be good for another, because it's only going to run 10 minutes in the first place. And your battery, it isn't flat. Uh, this Renogy uh, inverter shuts off well before the battery's flat. And in fact, I can go up and start that truck right now, it'll start. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, but it is gonna shut off the power to the house. Now, there's all kinds of things going on if you, if you kind of do, if you say, well, I'll just wait till it starts beeping and then I'll, I'll go out and start the car. No, 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 no. Everything shuts down, uh, the voltage is too low, uh, remember, we were at 108 volts or something. Uh, that's getting into the which where these things won't operate well. They won't uh, handle this kind of uh, low voltage. Things don't start as easily. You know, a compressor and a refrigerator is not going to want to start. That kind of stuff. So, you don't want this thing to shut off. And the other thing you don't want. The battery in your car is not new. It almost never is. It may last five, I've had them last actually 10 years, but okay, if you, this is a lead acid battery, okay? Lead acid batteries wanna be fully charged all the time. They do not like, like being discharged and then charged up again. I know this very well. I built a solar, or <laughs> I built an electric car about 20 years ago, 
and I had to run it off of lead acid batteries. I got about a hundred charges out of those batteries where I'd charge them up, I'd go someplace, pretty much flatten them down, charge it up again. I got about a hundred cycles on brand new batteries and they failed within about a year. I got about a year out of them. Okay, so the battery in your car, it, it was not made to be discharged. It was made to start the car. That's all it's there for. It has plenty of power to throw a bunch of power to that starter and get the engine running. But it isn't good for long-term loads. And it just doesn't do them very well. And so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to trash that battery. And you come out there one time and it just won't charge back up again. So do not do that. Do not say, well, I'll go out there every hour and I'll start to, you know, well, the thing's going to stop in 10 minutes anyway. So you can't do that. It doesn't work. So what you want to do is you want to run the vehicle all the time. That's the only way you can make this work. Okay, I'm going to stop here because I'm going to get into alternators in the next video on this. I'm going to do a series here. And I'll probably do that in a few days. And today is, let's say, the 3rd of November, 2025. So probably in another week, this one will be out. The next one will be out. And we're going to talk about alternators, what they can and cannot do, and how you can actually operate uh, some fairly heavy equipment with the car uh, powering it. Not the battery, the alternator. Okay, hope this thing made sense. If it doesn't make sense, holler at me in the comments and I'll see what I can do. But uh, that's it on this one.